for me, not signing the estimate, he got the hearing so quickly. Uh, like the 31st of January, he put it in, he got it on the 6th of February. Um, so that's the most reasonable estimate, yeah, sure. I didn't have money to pay it anyway, and I wouldn't have. Um, so, off-duty cop and him were supposed to be there with these movers on the 6th. Nobody was coming to pack. They didn't want to talk to me about property or about the house, like he said. Um, nobody showed up there with the movers. Um, I was hoping to realize something in turn. And, I mean, Nate, Simon, Jim, please find the attached quote of the work that needs to be completed at Scottingham. Needs to be completed. You said that and I had to do it. We didn't even discuss the property. They were just going to take stuff and... Um, Michael Hirsch was coming and Jim gave him, or I guess Dick gave him all the instructions on what to do and it was just going to sit in his garage. I just don't understand why we were going to be pulling the house back apart again. And then when I, like we, when I did, like all the uh, extra stuff just stayed. Nothing got cleaned, nothing got repaired, nothing got listed, nothing got pictured, nothing got done. But holes in the wall and it trashed I mean for real um and I mean listen how ridiculous this is start by removing stuff in the yard okay that was silly um so Jim did the walkthrough with Nate and Eric Eric sent Nate a quote that he gave to Thorson that Thorson gave to me, Andrew, and Dick. Um, Thorson sent pictures of the property to Andrew's dad and Andrew. Andrew went through it and told his dad, well, I guess, what he wanted. And his dad came and told, or, sent, or email, I guess they said they could include me. And like Michael Hirsch, he probably called 50 people finding a place. And then you get this extra duty police officer, so, like, the, that's how many people it took to get to me when I, I was willing to work with them and take, take it out myself. Like, I offered them 500 bucks and it, get a storage unit, and I'll get it out of here. I've been doing that for years. And, uh, Michael Hirsch just left the whole trampoline frame with no bolts in it, and it fell on me and Riley. I couldn't even play in the yard, like, for the rest of the time there. Uh, I mean, it was dangerous. It was co-worker showed up like at 10 30 with them like a mike's hard lemonade or something and they just left and, uh, you know I, i'm doing this they trashed the place too so jim took charge of all this or oh, dick and yeah you can go there if you want but of course i had to be there because i had to be the point of contact for the house like always and this is so stupid like, why didn't I get an advance? And why didn't I get those papers she was talking about? And why didn't I get um, help getting my stuff out too? And why did we like rip the house apart like that? And why did we never have an MLS? And why did it go to auction for so cheap? The reason why I reported it is because it was messing with me. It shows I just helped. Um, like I helped them along the whole entire time. You know, I walked through and I like, you know, I just offered him everything. And, uh, an estimate was bullshit. Like, look at this. This is what they tried to use against me to dissolve the protective order right after I put it in place. You can have it all, Andrew. Everything I've done was not for myself. Please have it. I even have a laundry way. It's really beautiful. Seems like y'all are doing great. I haven't done anything but work since I got back. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, nothing broken, broken. I said nothing. I did it all for them. 
as we want to make it stay. You know, this is bullshit. But I do want them to have their stuff in their home. The home is perfect for them. Do you want it for them? I'll do that for them. Okay, let me go. I don't want to drag this out. You can have them. Let me eat now. Please say something. Nice game, by the way. I feel sick. This is, it makes me sick. I mean, why do I have to do for so many people? 